100% satisfaction pure. All right, good morning everybody. After about two weeks of horrendous stormy conditions, we're finally back at it. The conditions finally lined up. No more rain, no more wind, no more waves. So we can finally go out. Um, yeah, I'm here in this beautiful little uh, beach town and we are heading out with the boat into kind of the little bay and gonna do some ultralight fishing. And yeah, hopefully by the end of the day, we'll have a belly full of fish. Let's see how it goes. All right. So this is our boat for today. Gonna be a fun day. <laughs> okay, at the location. Is that long cast? Yeah, took up long. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're fishing really shallow waters here and we're getting snagged the entire time. Uh, we've been about one hour in the water, uh, changing locations, going up and down the reef and uh, trying to flick a few lures. And yeah, we're, we're just kind of <laughs> totally snagged up so uh, we might have to go uh, dive for it. Yeah. <laughs> hey Sean, oh, let's pass. Hello. Okay, so uh, we're heading back. It was super fun. Uh, yeah, we got uh, two snappers. One, yeah, which 
able to escape back into the water. Not uh, my proudest moment. But yeah, finally, you know, there's progress and I got a fish. That's awesome. So, thank you, Kastuar. Yeah, yeah. See you next time. Terima kasih banyak, yeah. I'm just gonna scramble about a kilometer around that headland there and then I should have a nice little cove all to myself that little snapper I caught uh, I'm gonna grill up on a little fire finally the long-awaited fire on the beach I can't believe I'm doing this and I'm very happy about my progress you know slow progress okay I admit it uh, but every time I go out with some of the local boys I'm learning something new Damn it, this is a bit longer than I expected. Oh wow. There it is. I'm so starving. No brekkie. It's been a long day. In the sun, on the water. No lunch. Oh man, how perfect is this? Huh? 40 minute walk, that's all right. Uh, that tree looks like a perfect little spot. Yep, there's the spot. That's where we make the fire. All right, so while I'm waiting for the uh, fire to burn down, so I got some coals, I'm just gonna clean the catch of the day. There we go, that fish is ready. I found myself a little nice plate. That'll work. Ooh. This is looking good. <laughs> so as the fish is cooking, uh, I'll give you a bit of the view. So we caught the fish all the way over there on the other headland. We're out there with the boat. Uh, here you see on the outer reef some waves coming in. It's a really nice surf spot. I've been here the last couple of weeks and uh, had some very nice sessions there. Around there, another headland. Good fishing there, a lot of local fishermen go there. I haven't yet been able to venture all the way there. It's been super wavy and windy, so this is really the first day where I'm, I'm able to, you know, kind of fish and I'm very happy that we scored. Almost ready, almost ready. Yeah. All right. So the fish looks ready and uh, yeah, just gonna slice up a few limes and then dig in. Never leave home without these. They're so good, make everything better. That's not too bad, eh? Ooh, yeah. Ooh, hot. Oh man, this is so good. Also the skin. This is possibly, possibly the freshest fish I've ever eaten in my life, to be quite honest. Like I was swimming in the ocean two and a half hours ago. 
I, I wish you could taste this. Man, I'm so happy I'm finally able to show you what I've been talking about since episode one. You know, cooking, catching a fish, cooking it up on the beach. Life can be that simple. That's all I want. <laughs> mm. The meat is so tender. Yeah, snappers are, I mean, one of the most popular fish in the world, I would say. Because they're such good eating. It doesn't get any fresher than this. I mean, literally, it does not. Well, that's the first side gone. Now we go to the second. Nah. <laughs> it's also kind of the perfect sized fish. I mean, for one person, this is a beautiful feed. Any bigger, I'd probably struggle. Well, that's not true. I wouldn't struggle. I can eat a lot. And there's something about cooking something on a fire, you know? It just makes the taste so much better. Always. And on the beach by yourself, in paradise, doesn't get much better than this. It's just so soft and flaky. I think this is the point where I have to th thank Neptune, you know? After eight episodes of failing, Neptune finally granted my wish. I have finally been upgraded or been promoted to the next stage of a fisherman. One which catches fish. <laughs> 100% satisfaction pure. You can't believe how happy I am now. Um, really, after weeks of trying, finally made it, caught a fish, cooked it up on the beach, was able to film it all. The weather was on my side. Uh, you know, there's uh, not much else I can say. Uh, <laughs> I've succeeded my mission in life. What a beautiful way to end the video. Thanks everyone for watching, I appreciate it. See you guys next time. We've got some exciting plans coming up. Some serious island adventures. Also a bit more spear fishing involved. I'm very excited about that. Um, you know, it just kind of shows you the underwater world, you know, the kind of the top water. Lure fishing doesn't do that really. Uh, but with spear fishing, you know, you guys as the viewers, you can really take part in uh, the journey. So. Um, and see, you know, how fantastic these oceans here are in Indonesia. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you next time.